there's a nice way to do a sky, the preparation for detail. And you notice I have a very flat color on there. It's dry. So next I'll take some blue and white and I'll put this up just to kind of round out the corners. And the other side. So you get that feeling of roundness. Oh. Not much in the middle, mostly the corners. And then likewise, down at the uh, bottom of the canvas, the bottom of the sky, I'll take some greenish color. This is my emerald green and white. I'll put this down like this, and then I'll blend it. And the, the shape I will have down there, it'll correspond with the top. See how that curve is? You get the curve feeling. Down here, you go higher in the middle, so you get that same continuation of this big sky before you put any detail into it. Great. That can be done very carefully, like I did. I'm going just down a little bit into the water. OK, now I want to take a little bit of that first blue that I had, and I, I dipped it a little bit into the walnut oil, and then we'll suggest a couple little clouds out there. And by not uh, cleaning the brush, once I put it on here, I don't have much on the brush, so when I come down here, it truly is in the correct value at the lower edge of the canvas. Let's go a little bit more up here. And then to further enhance that, <clears throat> let's take a little bit of that light green and just give us a nice edge to that. So you're using one color two places, you're using one color two places. It has a lot of unifying value by using similar colors. I need to put one touch of yellow and white on before we say goodbye. Oh, there's where we are. So. There's your sky, direction, technique, in a short form. Hope you enjoy it. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Prairie Public.